What is up guys, my name is Ted and today I'm going to try to shed a little bit of light on the um, the new map pack that's coming out for Call of Duty. It got released, um, or excuse me, got announced a couple months ago actually. Um, and it was even heard of a little bit before then because there are actually screenshots of the maps, um, the loading screens for the maps on the disc of Call of Duty. Um, there's a couple rumors that these maps were actually going to come with the game originally, but I think um, Treyarch decided they weren't good enough. This is what I've heard at least. The maps weren't good enough, so I guess they're going to sell them to us instead. So that makes a lot of sense, and we're going to pay 15 bucks for them. But um, the yeah, the, it's called First Strike, and it's going to come out on February 1st. Um, so only about two, two and a half weeks away. So and that's only for the Xbox, PS3, and PC. They're going to come out later on, but they're still not sure of the exact date of when they're going to release them. It's probably going to be about a month later if I had to uh, figure out what it was in Modern Warfare 2. Um, the new maps are going to be called um, Berlin Wall, let's see, Berlin Wall, Stadium, Discovery, and um, I can't remember the last one, but there's going to be four maps, and then there's also going to be a new zombie map, and it's called Ascension, and that one looks absolutely awesome. I, I love zombies, and any new zombie game modes that I can get my hands on is wonderful, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, these are going to be $15, like I said. And it's, uh, I don't like the new price. Um, it seems that uh, Activision is, they tried it with Modern Warfare 2 and it was so successful that they said they'd just keep it, keep doing with it. So they sold 2.5 million copies of the stimulus package, which if, if y'all don't know that it's the Modern Warfare 2 DLC. And I'm not sure if I really want to pay 15 bucks for four maps that weren't even good enough for the game originally. Um, I might do it just for the zombie map, but uh, I don't know. It's, it's kind of annoying that uh, Activision is going to make us pay 15 bucks for maps that they didn't even think were good enough for the original game. But I guess that's what we got to deal with. And I'll oh, probably buy either way, because you know, it still isn't that much money for maps, I guess. Just kind of annoying, like I said. Um, moving on, I'm going to also talk about the Modern Warfare 3. And uh, there's a big thing going on with uh, the release date and. Uh, you know, people normally expect a new Call of Duty every November. It's, it's been pretty standard that, you know, once a year, every November, November 11th, November 9th, we'll get a new Call of Duty. And there's a lot of problems going on with Modern Warfare 3 right now. The two lead designers um, for multiplayer at uh, Infinity Ward actually got sued and fired by um, Activision because supposedly they are fraternizing with other companies or whatever and uh, selling their ideas and such. So, um,. That was it's a big fiasco, and what these two guys are doing now that they've left Infinity Ward is they're trying to create like this COD killer apparently, which is supposed to be like this new game, very similar to Call of Duty. It might not be a first-person shooter; it might be something else, but it's supposed to be very similar to Call of Duty. And they're trying to absolutely kill the Call of Duty franchise and create their own cool, different game. I guess that's going to be kind of similar as far as um, you know the new Modern Warfare aspect of it. But it's going to be a different uh, brand, and I can't remember what it's going to be called. But uh, so that's going to be pretty exciting. Looking forward to. We might actually get two Call of Duties this year if uh, if Modern Warfare 3 gets released. However, they're saying that um, they're expecting there might be a two or even three month delay on Modern Warfare 3 if it comes out because of uh, all the lawsuits that they're having with uh, Infinity Ward and Activision and um, uh, just everything that's going on, especially with Electronic Arts. That's who uh, the two lead designers, they were supposedly like colliding with Electronic Arts to like share ideas or something like that. It's a big controversy apparently. But uh, so that's going to be up in air about what's really going to happen with Modern Warfare 3. Um, as far as the gameplay in the background right here, this is actually one of my new best scores. I got 157 kills and 6 deaths on Nuketown. Now, it's not really a huge, uh, I guess, feat, because it is Nuketown and air support. I think I had do chopper and dogs on, and, uh, I mean, air support does so much on Nuketown. Dogs didn't really do too much, but, I mean, it was still, a. Uh, it's, it's, it's definitely my best game, but it's, it's not that wonderful, I guess. I, I just throw it in the background. I do like the score, though. I've never gotten... Or well, one other time I've gotten 157 kills, and I posted that one, I think, either yesterday or two days ago. This isn't going to tie with that, but this one, it's kind of a slow-paced game, but you'll see I'm going to fast-forward a lot, because we were playing one person for a lot of the game. Um, there's just one person that stayed in, and everyone else would leave, and then it, after three or four minutes, it'd find more people. 
So I, a lot of the game is fast forwarded. However, um, I called it my kill streaks when there was a few people left. So uh, that's the reason the score is so high. Um, really, nothing unexpected for the background. Um, I'm actually going to start doing games now, I think, where I don't use um, the chopper gun or the dogs. I'm going to try to stick with games. I'm going to use the Blackbird and the UAV, obviously, as my two kill streaks. I might use something like Counter UAV, maybe. Or maybe just one kill streak, like I might put on uh, Attack Heli or maybe in a care package or something like that. But um, getting, getting 100 plus games with the chopper gunner and the gunship and the dogs, it's becoming pretty easy and uh, pretty routine. It's not very much fun for me anymore. And the game in general, um, I don't know if everyone else feels the same way, but I haven't even, I mean, I'm on break right now and I haven't played this game at all. Like, I've gotten a prime match with my friends, and we'll do some, like, quick scoping, which isn't really existent, but we try at least, and stuff like that, but the game for me is getting a little bland. Um, the maps are not exciting. Uh, I really don't like any of them, except for Nuketown and maybe Radiation, but um, Model for 2, I remember I complained about the maps for that one, too, for that game, too, when they first came out, but now that I look back on it, like, those maps are awesome compared to this game. I mean, there's just nothing really exciting about the maps in here. I loved maps like Terminal. I mean, being at places like being at an airport, that was cool. Being at a junkyard, that was cool. And I like, I love uh, just random, I guess, settings for maps like this. I mean, Newtown is a cool map, and I think that this setting is cool. But maps like Radiation and Launch, uh, I, I'm not really into them, I guess. I don't, I don't find those really exciting. And that's really what sets the game for me. Like, if the maps are good and fun, I mean, I like small maps too. And Call of Duty 5, Call of Duty 4, I mean, they had small maps for the majority of them, like Shipment. I mean, that map was awesome. You had 9v9 Ground War domination on Shipment. That was, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. However, you don't have that anymore, and you can, I don't even think you can have Ground War on um, Nuketown. And this map is pretty much medium sized compared to any Call of Duty 4 map. But Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty 5, the maps were great, and I hate to like rant on this, but I think it's kind of on top of the new map packs are coming out. And I guess that after that is one of my wishes for uh, the new map packs, I'm hoping that they will be smaller, maybe even just medium size. But I don't think I'm going to wish because uh, one of the comments that Treyarch uh, designers left is that they made these hopefully good for sniping. They're trying to bring back some new sniping uh, spots inside of these new maps, and you can't really snipe on a small map. So I don't think I'm going to get my wish, but I'll keep my fingers crossed anyways. Right here is one of the times we were playing one person, so I had to speed it up. It's not really that exciting. But um, continuing on, on Black, um, Black Ops, to do a little, I'd say, comparison to Modern Warfare 2, it seems that Black Ops is, in my opinion, the exact opposite. Now, granted, they're both you know first-person shooters, guns, blah, blah, blah. But there's two main aspects of a game in my opinion. There's the technical and there's the balance. And in game, as far as balance goes, Modern Warfare 2 had nothing. I mean, there was no balance. There was nothing. I mean, they didn't try. They didn't even make an attempt, in my opinion, to balance the game whatsoever. None of the guns relate to any other guns in their class at all. It's just, it's stupid. And in Black Ops, on the exact other hand, everything seems to be balanced. Except for the 74 you see through the trump of the assault rifles, or excuse me, the trump of the SMGs. But as far as assault rifles go, they're all pretty much balanced. Um, I mean, anything down to the M16 and the uh, and the G11, they both three on burst. But since the G11 has less recoil and a faster burst, they give it less range and a little bit less damage. So I mean, just things like that. It just shows that they've balanced absolutely everything. I mean, they made new, they made so that if you add a flamethrower, you can't have warlord on a gun because you can't add a second attachment. I mean, things like that are really balanced. They make so you can't have extended mags and dual mags. I mean, everything's, as far as that goes, it's really balanced. However, the technical, such as matchmaking, host, host migration, um, they've had to really dumb down the graphics for PS3, and it doesn't work at all. Like, I, I, from what I've heard, at least, now granted I don't have a PS3, one of her, you can't even really play on the PS3 at all because the, the graphics are really dumbed down. The red dot sights have like too much glare on them or something like that. And host mic hosts are awful. Like you can't hold a game for like one in five games. And this is all speculation. This is all what I've heard. But I've heard from a lot of sources. So I'm pretty sure it's true. And Xbox isn't much better. I mean, matchmaking is god awful. I mean, I don't know why they couldn't take matchmaking from Call of Duty 5 or Call of Duty 6. And I mean, there's never a problem in Modern Warfare 2. 
of finding people in a game. And I know people rage quitted like crazy in Modern Warfare 2 because of the noob tubes and such. And maybe they expected that, so they made a better matchmaking. Really but in this game, that. there's just nothing. I mean, ground wars are awful. If you get in a TDM or a do domination, you can play two people the entire game when there's seven on your team, and it just never finds anyone else for the other team. And that's annoying as well as the fact that if you get in a spawn trap, everyone leaves. And I know I go on about this a lot, but I consider it the major flaw of this game. So from that aspect, um, the balance is great, but the game itself is really, really boring. I mean, if if they just fixed the matchmaking and maybe made some new small maps, then I think it'd be great. But as far as this right now, I find myself constantly inside of a game thinking this is so boring, like this is so lame because I'm playing either two people or I'm on this massive map with six-man teams and I can't find anybody. I mean, have you ever tried playing a free-for-all on Array? It's as boring as it's ever going to get. That map is so big and generally in free-for-all you'll have about six people actually start the game and maybe two or three will leave after that. They won't find anyone for free-for-all either. So they'll just be sitting there, two person on array, trying to find the other person. He's plus sitting there with Ghost Pro, a silencer, and a motion sensor. Like, oh my god, it's so boring. But uh, that's enough for the rant, at least. Model for 2 had its problems. This game has a problem. Everything will have its problems. I'm hoping the next Call of Duty will uh, fix or address all these issues. I mean, really, if they just had it, Black Ops uh, mechanics with Model for 2 maps and matchmaking. That would be a good game. I mean, I love. And then the other thing is, like, the kill streaks are kind of boring in this game. Like when you, when I remember getting in an AC-130, and I felt like a boss. I mean, when you're in there, and you got the pilot like talking to you and like scouting out kills, and the infrared and all, or thermal uh, sight, all that stuff was so cool. And then you've got this game where it's like you put a little walkie-talkie to your face, and you're just sitting on this gun, this turn that's just circling the map. Like, it's not really that exciting. The chopper gunner would sway, and it had, like, that feel, like, that vibration when you, uh, shot the gun. You felt like you were, like, a boss on top of this chopper gunner. Chopper gunner in this game's got, like, no recoil, no, uh, bullet penetration spread, and the spawns are kind of, like, all over the place in this game, so you can't really get, like, that six-man spray in a chopper gunner. And the ch I'm not saying the chopper gunners are underpowered. I think that they're, uh, they're definitely balanced in my opinion. You can get about 10 kills on average with them. But in Modern Warfare 2, you can get about 15 if they never got shot down. And the dogs... And what's the point of dogs in comparison to a gunship? A gunship's average me 13 kills. Dogs only average me about 6. And I wish... I mean, I still use dogs normally because of uh, the air support being maxed out for the most part. But I wish either they'd let you have uh, chopper gunners and attack heli in the air at the same time. Or at least have like two choppers or two attack helis there at the same time because it gets boring sometimes. But anyways, that's the game. Everyone quits. If you enjoyed, please click the like button. And I post 100 plus gameplays every day, so subscribe if you want to see more of these. Um, I'll see you guys next.